what is this? He's in love with himself, but you know what? Self-love, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. So, we are back with a new introduction to a sim that I told you a little bit about, but that was just in one video. My first uh, current household with the Langfords. So, this right here is Vincent Hillard. So, Vincent is the actual birth father to Elena here. They don't really have a strong, strong connection. I feel like he more so takes the place of a family friend rather than a father. He's a good guy, but he just didn't take the responsibility as the father figure in Elena's life. But he recently just got engaged with Rocio Helm, and it got him thinking about, you know, family life, being responsible, and it got him thinking about his relationship with his actual daughter, and uh, he kind of is a little bit embarrassed how he didn't have full presence in Elena's life, so he wants to fix that and rekindle their relationship, you know. They don't have a bad relationship, but they're just acquaintances, you know? They're, it's not a strong relationship, and he wants to fix that before he, uh, you know, walks down, or I was gonna say walks down the aisle, but he doesn't. I mean, if he wants to, he could do that. If you wanna walk down the aisle, you can. But, you know, traditionally, Rocio would be walking down the aisle. But, um, theoretically, he he wants to fix his stuff up before he has uh, Rocio move in. Right now, this is uh, the apartment that he lives in right now. He lives in, like, the city part of the world. With all these townhouses, which I really love. Again, this is in the world St. Clair. And let me tell you more about him. So, originally, he was a firefighter. That is how he met Elise. And, you know, they were boyfriend and girlfriend but there was nothing serious there and then when he found out that she was pregnant he changed careers and became a fire dancer and he still currently is a fire dancer let's see he's a ooh, he's a level nine in the acrobat career so yeah that's what he's been doing right now um let's put the walls up and let's show you his apartment so walking in the apartment it's very quaint but I, I really like it. He's been living by himself for a while. I don't know if this is... I, I think they're going to get a different apartment when he gets married. But uh, right now, it's kind of like a bachelor pad. So you walk in. You got a table where I assume he puts his keys. You got a... The, what is this? Like a knee sack thing? I don't know. I don't know what you call them. But like you toss it on, on your knees. You know, that thing. <laughs> um, you got a record player jamming out. And then um, this is where he chills out. He got his bed. Very simple. And then you walk in. This is their bathroom with nice brick walls, um, which is very apparent throughout his whole apartment. Um, one of my favorite parts about apartments is bringing in the brick walls. I don't know, it makes it look very industrial. So I really dig that. We did like nice earthy colors. So you got a nice leather bean bag to chill out on with a little workout training center to train for his acrobat career, which he mastered his athletic skill, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so he is sleepy right now, so I'm going to have him take a nap. We're going to extreme sleep. So right now he wants to buy a tennis table, but it's like, honey, um, we have no room. Um, he wants to perform a school cheer. Oh my god, was he a mascot in another life? I would not be surprised. <laughs> I feel like he likes to be center of attention. So he maybe was a school mascot. <laughs> All right, so he's just gonna sleep right now. We are going to come back in the morning and I will introduce you to his fiance, which I have yet to meet. I gave her a makeover, but I haven't really played with her. So I'm excited to see how they interact because basically they got married through like story progression. I had nothing to do with it. I'm like, oh, okay, the game wants him to be engaged i thought he would be you know forever not forever alone that's kind of harsh but um i thought it would it would have taken like a while until he settled down okay but no apparently he is ready to be a married man but his apartment says otherwise because he obviously has no room in this apartment for her so i don't know how that's gonna work because it, it it looks like a full apartment that is solely for him there's like no room for her to move in so if they do move in i think they'll have to move but 
I'll be sad because I really like this apartment. All right, our boy is finally up. We're gonna have him make the bed. I feel like it would be cool if he did his morning chin-ups, get ready for his job, which, let's see, he does get paid weekly as a fire dancer. I've never played with the acrobat career before. I haven't really like dwelled into like showtime, like with the singer or the acrobat. So this whole experience is very new to me, but he's obviously a professional as he's is level nine so he i guess we just have to wait around for calls i don't know how that works all righty and he is quite hungry have breakfast can we do quick meal of cereal does he have any place to eat or he just eats on the sofa we don't even have a table we are not <laughs> ready to have a second roommate when his fiance moves in we are not ready like there's no room for the two of us and i feel like his girlfriend has a lot of stuff i feel like she is definitely not a minimalist and um it's going to be interesting <laughs> but what is he thinking about oh is our tv broken all right cool <laughs> i guess we'll call or maybe he should repair i don't know we'll call the technician all right so we're calling the technician we're gonna take a shower it legit says take shower with flair what is his traits natural born performer that's probably what that has to do let's i don't know what's a good place to go to for performance so it says a proprietor is available from Sunday at 8 a.m. So is that a proprietor? Is that his boss currently at work? I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna travel to Oak Park, um, and we'll see what what we got going on here. Does he even have a car? I don't think so. We we can't even afford a car. How are we gonna afford a venue for a wedding? We are not prepared, but we are looking fine. So we've got that going for us. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> All right, we're waiting for the taxi, I'm assuming. Oh, he's going in a limo. What the heck? All right, we're going in a limo, but like, how are we affording this? It's not even, he's not even famous. Oh, just as, just as I was saying we were poor, we just got paid because he gets paid weekly. All right, all right, okay. Maybe he does deserve to be in this limo. All right, cool, cool. I approve. All right, but we need to save up. The horse, though. How didn't I notice that we ran over a horse? All right, rest in peace, horse. Hope that you have a great afterlife. I'm so sorry. He really thinks he's hot shot, for, for real. He, like, who drives around in a limo? All right, so we are at the park that I did a little bit of a revamping. I really like it. It's like a mini festival ground, but it isn't, but I decorated it to be so. This is where a lot of the live concerts are played. So we need to look for the proprietors. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But how, how do we perform? We are gonna, we're gonna set stage right in the center oh and i had to restart my game because it did crash <laughs> so we didn't get paid yet i think we got paid like at 12 if i'm mistaken so we are still broke let me see i think these are our bosses right so we need to look for a theron ridley here he is ask about career yeah tell me more about it because i'm confused i don't know what this does but i'm gonna press it anyway all right, he is a proprietor. I still don't understand what that is, okay? Oh, he's auditioning, that's what that is. Okay, we did get paid, cool. All right, let's see his audition. Whoa, all right, all right. Um, wow, okay. Okay, so the proprietor says, <laughs> those are some great stunts. Please come perform at the Oak Park at Monday, 4 p.m. Okay, that's tomorrow. All right, at two o'clock, I think I'm actually going to call his fiance over here because I think it is time for her to move in with us, even though we have no room. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what his stage name, oh. Oh, okay, now I understand why they said the Chauncey Benz a lot because that was his stage name. Uh, well, leave in the comments what his stage name should be because I have no idea. <laughs> So we have the option of performing for tips. So we're gonna do that until she comes over. Do you see his outfit? What is what is this? He's in love with himself, but you know what? Self-love, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, people stop. 
trying to get apples. Give us money. He sure does bend a lot. I, I, I understand his stage name now. Oh, okay. That's embarrassing. Everybody's like looking, but at least they're coming over. Our fall got their attention. Okay. He did that on purpose though. See, they weren't paying attention to us until we fell. Yep. This is how you get people's attention. Okay. So this is our fiance. This is Rocio. Does she like our performance? Is she a fan? He's so cute. Oh, <gasps> she's booing us. What is this relationship? I'm uh, I'm confused. I'm confused. She does not like it. I don't I don't know about this relationship. I don't Oh, but she just tipped us. She booed us and then tipped us. You know what? Thanks for the tip though. Okay, we got 73 simoleons. All right, they're tipping pretty good. This isn't a bad job. Okay, it is four o'clock. He got tipped 96 simoleons. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's um get to know our fiance before we ask her to move in. But um, this is our girl. She's super pretty. Let's get a close up of her. Um, I don't know if she has a job or anything. We, I guess we gotta find that out because he doesn't know anything about her, which is kind of suspicious. But yeah, we'll ask about career. Oh, she is in the singing career. Oh, okay, that's perfect though. I love that. All right, let's let's get to know her traits. How about we get to know? They're definitely not failing in the romance section of their relationship. <laughs> okay, so we discovered she's a great kisser. She definitely has like rent a limo on speed dial. I feel like <laughs> rent a limo for like a week. Okay, so we are at the bar right now, and I guess we could eat something, order something for the group. Wait, are they having a picnic? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, this is so cute. They go to a bar, but they have a picnic. I love it. All right, we'll slow dance. She just stepped on his toe. He's not wearing shoes, so that must have hurt. She has like pointy shoes on. Oh, wait, he's got to go to the bathroom. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. I also wouldn't want you to pee in your pants. It's taking a long time in the bathroom. It took you an hour, dude. Come on. You're calling her in the bathroom? This is so not romantic at all. Oh, wait. Okay. He, he's coming outside. I thought he was gonna, like, make his promise to protect her in the bathroom. It's like... This relationship, I don't know. It's not it's not on a nice foundation. We don't even know each other. All right, let's see. This is the moment. I will protect you. Will you be my roommate? I will protect you with my fire boutons. She said yes. Cool. So she is now in our active family, and it seems like they had a great date. It says it's hard to believe to imagine that date going any better playful banter gave away a gazing gave way to gazing into each other's eyes and oh my where did the time go i know it's already 3 a.m in the morning so i think i think we had a very successful date for sure i wonder if she knows where he lives because he drives around in a limousine i wonder if she's expecting him to have like this really nice apartment in the city that's like full uh, like penthouse they really don't know each other but i feel like she likes that he drives around in a limo even though we really don't have that much besides a limo that we rent <laughs> he left without her okay you know what i'm gonna help a girl out and i'm gonna have her fast travel for she doesn't have to walk in the rain ah <sighs> what is this teleport her here girl i got your back I got you back. All right, we're home. Do we need to fix up the apartment before she comes home? How to be served, not to be served. What? What type of book is that? Whose book is that? Who's reading that? Okay, we got it. We got to make the bed. This is why he ditched her because he needs to clean up the apartment. <laughs> is she on her way though? I have no idea. She's like stuck somewhere. Okay, did you make the bed? Oh, he's too tired. Okay, well, I'm gonna cheat that just a little bit. All right, make that bed. I don't even know if she has access to this bed. You know what? <laughs> this relationship's a mess. All right, this is her first time at the apartment. What, how, how, how do you feel? I still don't know her personality. I like, I don't know if she minds it. She thought he had a penthouse. I don't know. I don't think she even has room to go to the bed. This is interesting. Oh, she's gonna turn that on. You're gonna wake him up. He's not gonna like that. Yep, he does not like that. She turns on the radio and he's like, what the heck, what the heck? But she's like, hello, there's like no place for me to sleep. Great, he's up. Okay, now we could sleep here. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna have to like figure out a different arrangement for this. 
<laughs> she legit stole the bed from him. All right, well, this is uh, their new sleeping arrangement. Okay, so I was able to figure out a little bit of a different arrangement for these two. I changed the direction that the bed was originally in. I'm still thinking of changing this because I'm not quite a fan of it, but this is what we have for right now. All right, I guess she doesn't mind the small apartment because she, she isn't upset. I mean, wait, what was that interaction? Maybe she, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she's not telling her her true emotions, but she, I, I think she is a little bit disappointed, but you know what? She already has the ring, so not much she could do. We will perform a song. Let's see if she could sing. Don't say not now. Oh, we're going to go out here. All right, let's see. See if she's a good singer or not. She, she just carries a microphone randomly. She's performing to no one in the rain. <laughs> She's like, I just got engaged. I thought he was rich because he drives around in a limo. And I will get married to him. Because <laughs> I still love him. And I'm not a gold digger. That was, that was beautiful. I loved it. <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> so, um, I think I'm going to end it here. I really had fun with them. Next part, I definitely want to have him go out and work on his relationship with Elena. But this one was just them getting closer, which they really, they really didn't. <laughs> he, he just discovered that she's a good kisser. We're, we're going to end this off with her being like super, super dramatic. And she is going to fake passing out, you know? This is this is where we're gonna head it out because she's a drama queen. She's in the rain She's upset that nobody was here for her little concert and hopefully this will get somebody to notice Did, did it work? Does anybody care? <laughs> nobody cares. Well, this is it. See you guys next time. Bye